morning gang, how you doing? It's Mr. Motivator and I'm in your house. I know you guys have been locked down. I know you've been doing your lessons. I know you've had a great week, but guess what? We're gonna bring it all to a close by having a real party. So let's hit that music and get going, all right? So you're up, let's march. Here we go, gotta warm the body up. Shiplake College, Motivator is in the house with you. Call your granny, call everybody, get them over, let's work. Here we go, here we go, ho! Oh. So it's important to warm the body up. Uh-huh. I got some shout outs to do, I'm gonna get them out of the way right now because what we're gonna do as a workout, we're gonna warm up, then we're gonna do some interval training work. Not tough, but fun. Here we go, ho! Oh. March, legs back, here we go. Watch it now, push up to the side like this. Reverend Biggs got in touch with me and said, Motivator, we need you. So here I am. So here's a shout out. Here we go, march it up, march it up, march it up. Ho, oh, Tyrone. Or is it Mr. Tyrone, who's a rugby lion? Oh ho, oh. British lion, he was good. Oh ho, oh. Tom Walter, you do the PE. Mr. Carey, you got a great running pro. Miss Mordu and Mrs. Settle. You do the girls' P games. Here we go. Come on, do it. Reach up to the ceiling, come down. And the heads of college, Trixie May and James Burgess. Huh, year 12. Here we go. Bicep curls. Here we go. Do it. Here we go. Here we go. Huh. March it. Two steps. Two steps to your right. Huh. And the left. Here we go. Do it. Come on. Exercise is important. Now I know. You all had a great week. Doing lots of stuff. Oh. You covered areas such as be prayerful, be calm, be inspired, be still, be creative, be kind, be mindful. Oh. Be free. Rock back here. Here we go, here we go. Now I'm gonna teach you some movements with my arms. March it here. Put your right hand up. Put your left hand up. Right hand down. Left hand down. Both hands come up. Both hands come down. Funky chicken. Ho! Try it again. Here we go, right hand. Left hand up. Left hand down. Left hand down. Both hands, coming up, coming up, ho! Oh. Take it down, take it down. Funky chicken, good. Now you're gonna do it to eight counts. I'll do it first to show you. You go one, two, three, four, five, six. Funky chicken. You ready, it's your turn. You gotta say it out loud. Here we go, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Funky chicken. Let's try it again. Here we go, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Funky chicken. Here we go. March it, march it. Ho! Oh. Tap the legs out to the side. Come on, tap it. So it's real gently. We're doing this to warm you up. Here we go, here we go. Push over the head, like so. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Push, push, push. Here we go, let's go, let's go. Punch, 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 punch. Let's go, punch, punch. Come on. Punch, punch, speedball, do it. Here we go, here we go. Watch it, up and down like so. Shoot a basket, shoot that basket. Come on, ho, oh. here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, both hands, it's just shot. Come on, up to the basket, shoot it, ho. Oh. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Play the piano, beat the drum. Up, march it up. Here we go. Two steps to your left. Five, six, seven. Hey! To the right. Very good. You did well. Now, here's where we make it tough. <coughs> You're going to run on the spot. Like so. Here we go. So you run on the spot for 30 seconds. Here we go. Come on. 
pump the hands above the heart. Let's go. Uh -huh. Yes. The problem is I can't count very well. So it doesn't matter. I'll tell you when to break. Ready. Good. We step touch. Step touch here. So you're running on the spot for 30 seconds. Then you step touch. We step touch for 30 seconds. So what's happening to the heart is going up there and then you're coming down. We're gonna do a whole sequence of exercise like that. Then we're gonna put it all together. Next exercise. You stride out for 30 seconds. Ready, here we go. Do it now. Four, five, six, come on. Yes, make sure the whole foot lands. Come on, make some noise. Hey! Take it from the top. Ready, run it. Ha! Come on. You can keep your hands down. Ha! Come on. Ha! Come. Work. 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 Come on. Ha! You can do it. Don't quit, no matter what. Keep it going. Keep it going. Come on. As you land, you bend those knees. Ha! Da 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 da. Ha! That music needs to be louder, I think. Come on. Ha! And even more.
Oh, as you can see, that has totally taken my breath away. Oh man, but that was so good. And you know something, gang? If you do that every day, you're gonna get the benefits of it. Now, we're all made very differently. So some of us enjoy doing that kind of activity. Some of us like to go rowing or play rugby or badminton. What's important is that you love exercise. And that comes in so many forms. So putting on your favorite music and moving the body is real good for you. I love music. I love playing basketball, I love doing all those things. But it wasn't always like that. I've learned over the years that there is a curative power to exercise. There's a curative power to being active. And no matter who you speak to, no matter what doctor you go to, no matter what specialist you go to, they will tell you that the fitter you are, the more benefits you'll get from exercise. And that only comes about if you take control of you, of your body, if you look after it every day. And just the action of setting your alarm clock or your Fitbit or your whatever it is to buzz on the hour to remind you to get up, you will get the benefits of regular activity. You know, all the things that you've covered this week about being prayerful, being calm, being kind, being inspired. It all starts with you. It starts with how you feel about yourself. That's where it begins. If when you look in the mirror in the morning, you love what you see, well then fine, who am I to tell you to change it? But if you want to change those things, if you want to become more creative, if you want to become calmer, guess what? You need to get active. Because that's what it does. What it does, you know, you pump, put around your body all those happy hormones and it really makes you feel good at the end of the day. So, I've been doing exercises for more years than you guys have been alive. You know, I started way, way back in 1983 when for me, I walked into a leisure center and saw 200 ladies exercising. And that was my light bulb moment. That was the moment when I realized that this is the business that I really wanted to get into. And it is a business. Right, and as I look at you now, I say to you, the day's gonna come that you are definitely gonna get and make a decision about where you want to go with your life. But the first thing starts with you looking after yourself and getting yourself fit and healthy, and that way you will always be okay. So every day, this is how I start my day. I get up and I say to my daughter to do the same thing. You get up in the morning and you have a real positive attitude in terms of where you are and where you want to get to. So you look in the mirror and you love what you see. That's the first thing. The next thing is you get dressed for business. So although you may be on lockdown, still get dressed every day like you mean business. Then the next thing you do is put your trainers on. Once you've got your trainers on, there's a way in which you feel. You feel like you want to be active. You want to, you know, just do a bit more. Put your favorite music on. And if your favorite music upsets the household, well then you put your headphones on and keep it in your world, right? And then what you do, you dance like nobody's watching. You dance like there's no tomorrow and enjoy the benefits you get from it. But I set myself various targets about being active, even now, and I'm 67 years of age. I've got loads and loads of targets that I set each day. The first thing started with, I wanted to be able to do my age in press-ups. So when I was 40, I was doing 40. When I was 50, I was doing 50. In fact, I was doing a lot more. Now, I have to do 67 in one go. It's much tougher. But the one thing I've learned about muscles is that they love work. And the more you do it, right, the more it becomes a habit. And the more and more the muscles will say, bring it on, give me more. And so every single day, I will do 67 press-ups, right? It doesn't have to be at the same time every day. I will do it every day. But the other thing I will do to remain active is to regularly get up and put variety in terms of what I do. So, 
One day I may just go for a long walk and when I come back and do some weight training, you see the weights are located all around me. Another day, maybe an aerobic class I'll do, but I'll always finish off with, rain, with, um, with weight training. It's important for you to find what you love doing in terms of exercise and then you'll embrace it. So find what works for you. It may be that you want to run 5K. Then it starts with you doing maybe only 1K for the first week and then as the week progress, then you slowly build up to where you, you want to be. But every one of you, and I keep repeating it over and over again, need to look after yourself. Do not take your health for granted. I know, I really touch wood, wherever that is, get ill. And why is that? I believe it's because I am active all the time. I'm doing something every single day, right? And I will never ever take my health for granted. And remember this, he who has health has hope. And he who has hope has everything. So to get yourself in the place right, where you increase your chances of being a real success out there, look after yourself, look after your health. And something as simple as just getting out of the chair and doing that 10 times is a great way to keep your body going. Because remember, muscles love work. And the more you work them, the more they're looking for from you. So, you've got to ask yourself this question at your age. Is what I'm doing today getting me closer to where I want to be tomorrow? So, is your studies getting you there? Is your attitude right? Is your health right? Is your fitness right? Remember this, there's a great poet, and if you get the chance, go online and look her up. Her name is Maya Angelou, and her words are really inspiring, and they've remained with me for most of my life. And there's one thing she says which is so relevant to all of us. In life, people may forget what you said. They may forget what you did. But the one thing they won't forget in life is how you made them feel. We need each other. So therefore, always make time for a kindly word. Not just on Facebook, not just on the social media platform, a phone call, hearing that person's voice, right? A meeting up when we are able to meet up is really important. And remember, spend time just talking to each other, looking out for them. If you see someone sitting quietly, ask them if they're okay. And if they're okay, then you leave them alone. If they're not okay, if they say, well, things aren't right, you say, well, okay, would you like to go somewhere for a cup of tea or a coffee or a drink of orange juice? But look after each other, and if you do that, number one, you're going to feel better. Number two, you make them feel better. And remember, it's a bit like paying forward, isn't it? Whatever you do to someone today, it may not come back directly at you, but it may come back to someone who's really close to you. You just don't know, right? So if we look after each other and care for each other, we're going to feel much better about ourselves. There's no saying, you know, and that is to avoid judging people is this. Walk a mile in someone's shoes. Then you might see what they see. You might hear what they hear. You might feel what they feel. Then maybe you'll understand why they are the way they are and why they do things the way they do it. But don't judge people from a distance. Get to know them. Yeah, that's really important. Okay, in all things, right? Remember, we cannot live in a bubble on our own. We need people, right? You ask the most successful athlete, he has a team behind him. You ask the most successful businessman, he didn't do it alone, right? But remember this, as you go on life's journey, the price of success is perseverance. That's been my motto all these years. But no one owes you anything. So you can't sit there waiting for your ship to come in. You've got to swim out to it. You've got to go and reach for that success. And remember this, if you remember nothing else that I've told you, it is only in the dictionary where success comes before work. So you're going to have to work real hard. Okay, listen 
to your lecturers, your teachers, listen to your parents, be respectful of each other, right? But most of all, right, take care of yourself. And remember that your life can be a real example to other people out there, all right? Your life story can impact them, can influence them. And if you want to find out about my life story, from being given away at three months of age, to being on my own, to being a single parent, to being homeless, to being in the bed and breakfast. If you want to find about that, get someone to actually get my book, which is called The Warmer, right? And it'll tell you all about my journey that's taking me to where I am now talking to you. So, in closing, I want to leave you with this thought for today, and that is, sometimes in life, it's not about being the best. It's about being better than you were yesterday. So look after yourself. Thank you for having me. I hope you enjoyed that session and I'll hopefully see you again. Say yeah.